it, once you can undo your bad habits, which is my struggle, uh, and just kind of do what Dan was saying and follow along with his PS60 process, he, the the wins just started to they just started to come, and then I then I was stuck pretty much. I stuck with him. So my name is Greg Lavati. Uh, I guess I'm a day trader now. I started out as a swing trader maybe about four years ago, kind of like a, a part-time swing trader, I guess. The, the reason I went looking for a mentor was because, um, I, so I mentioned I was a swing trader. I picked it up from my dad, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, and I'd have some, like a lot of people that start trading, I'd have some great wins and then I'd lose it all. Um, then I'd have more great wins and then I'd go back and lose it all. So I didn't really have a process. Uh, so then I started looking for a mentor, but I didn't really know what I was looking for. And then I just kind of found Dan through Twitter, um, as I think a lot of people do. Finding Dan was really fortunate. And, I, and I, you know, I wasn't sure at first who to go with. It's, it's hard to tell through social media because there's, especially as you know, uh, there's so many traders on social media. And I'm sure some are great. But, it, you know, Dan's always laughing about the guys showing pictures of their Lamborghinis and sitting on the beach all the time with a laptop. And there's a lot of that, too. So it's just really hard to know. Um, you know, I, I think I did try one other trading room who seemed like a good guy, but totally unprofessional, you know, so he'd skip like a week just to go snowboarding, but he wouldn't tell anybody and that kind of stuff. And so it's just a, a world apart from the way Dan runs things. He's there, you know, pretty much every day as much as he can be. And just, you know, he works on a schedule that keeps it very professional, but also very fun. And I mean, it was just kind of luck of the draw. You know, there's, there's so much, so much on social media, it can get very confusing, but I was, I was lucky to find him. Uh, my experience has been, it's been really good. And so, the, you know, I think one of the things that might separate me from some of the other people is that um, because I traded by myself for about a year or so, um, I had given myself some bad habits. Um, and so then I had to, I had to kind of undo those and stuff. You know, most of my losses now are all my own stupid boredom trades. <laughs> um, and they're, if when I listen to Dan and just follow the process, man, it's just, you know, so many green trades, it's, it's, you know, it could, it could be incredible. And so it's nice to, um, I just feel a lot more confident, I guess, than I did before. I don't feel like I'm guessing. And I used to always feel like I'm guessing. So the main way that Dan helped me with my bad habits is that he's so available. Um, and so he's, you know, he's always, of course, if you're in the live webinar, then he's always, he, you know, you ask him questions and he's always, uh, pretty open with his answers. Uh, but he's also available via email. And so sometimes I would ask him after the market closed, you know, I just write him and tell him what I did with the trade and why didn't it work for me. And he was pretty quick to come back with an answer, you know, and, and, uh, you know, and the, the other thing that I think maybe people don't see, at least you don't see it from Twitter. You kind of have to be in the live webinar to see it is that, um, is the, the sort of the, the mental part of trading, which you can't really you can't really get it until you start to see it happen, I guess. And that's something that he talks about in the webinar a lot, like learning patience, um, stop trying to make things happen, stop chasing things, you know, and, you know, FOMO and all that type of stuff. And I, I used to fall victim to all that stuff. And so just having someone there talking through, it just makes a big difference. I trade smaller size, I think, than a lot of other people do. Um, and that was, this was actually at his suggestion. Uh, and, and, it, and it was because, again, the bad habits that I'd started with I was trying to undo. And so, you know, when, when I was chasing trades and losing money, I put myself on a smaller size. And so, and um, yeah, and so I, I probably don't make as much as the other people in the webinar, but I have really consistent gains and that's what I've been looking for. And so I've slowly been scaling myself up as I do that. And so, um, man, so ever since I've been able to, you know, the, the hardest part for me is my teaching schedule stops me from trading in the morning sometimes. And when you can't trade every day, it's very hard to get in that rhythm. But since I've been able to trade every day, um, yeah, I mean, I've been consistently green. I think every day I don't uh, had a red day yet, which did not did not used to be the case for me. I don't think people can understand that. If it, there's a lot of people in the webinar that I think started out in the webinar and that was like their first trade and they're just used to winning all the time. Um, but I was not used to winning all the time. <laughs> and so, so to change that habit is a is a really big one. So it's nice to slowly scale up. You know, it's a great value if you just want to do the Twitter feed. But what I found is I don't like to sit by myself and look at Twitter um, while I'm trading. I, I just didn't, I don't know. The information is great, but I, I, I really need someone there talking to me just to keep me interested in the market. It's just, it's a lonely business, man. And people don't really talk about that very much, I think. But it's, you know, if you're sitting there by yourself just looking at, you know, numbers move around on a screen for hours, I think it, I think it gets it gets hard to, 
to stay patient and wait for those trades. But, you know, Dan's an entertaining speaker. Um, so if you just having him talk, I think just kind of, it just keeps me engaged. And that, that's why I've stuck with the webinar. Uh, yes, I would, I would absolutely recommend access the trader to other traders. And so I, and I actually have recommended it to people that I know. Um, so I think, I think it's a great service, both for beginning traders who just want to start out with good habits, you know, and to, to learn to get a feel for the market. But I also think it's a, it's a good place for, you know, for intermediate traders just to find a community. You know, as I said earlier, it's, a, it's such a lonely business. I think finding that community um, is really helpful and just having somebody to bounce your ideas off of. It just, it just, it does a lot for your mental health. I think that's, you know, um, I don't know. It's one of the, like the, the secrets of trading that you never hear anybody talk about, but I, I do think it's, it's very valuable and, and you do get that with access to trader.